It's like having a family because you spend more time with them potentially than your own family. And so what's special is that we're galvanized uh, with a common goal of training the best that we can train as well as providing the best care for our patients and also providing a platform for these fellows to move into a very successful and rewarding career. And that's really important. It's like beautiful in its simplicity, but in fact, there's so much actually that goes into the one thing, which is to, you know, unclamp the blood vessel and see the blood flow into the kidney. Like it's, that's sort of what everything is distilled down to. But behind that, there is so much logistical enterprise and, and um, work for the patient to get to that point. And then it's just release the clamp, I guess. It kind of distills down to that one moment. I mean, all the, all the things I do with my kids, you know, seeing them experience something for the first time or teaching them to do something and seeing them do it or watching them do things now that they can do better than I ever could, that's, that's, that's a, little bit, a little bit better for me than the, than the releasing of the clamp, but it's still, that's analogous, I would say. Removing an entire liver, you know, we, we remove entire colons. Okay, no big deal. But removing an entire liver is, is a big deal, you know, to most people. Um, we remove an entire stomach, no big deal. But removing a liver, that's huge. It's sort of like removing someone's heart and placing a new one. Um, it's that vital of an organ. You can't live without it. The first um, liver transplant I did here, I sewed the, the vena cava. And that's terrifying <laughs> because they're, you know, transplant surgeons are really the only surgeons who operate on the vena cava. And so um, it was really scary. But, you know, after you get used to it, it becomes a lot less scary to do the routine ones. And that's the point. I think, you know, the experience is is what makes you better. The people who are applying have some of the sk skills that are that you need physically. I mean, they, they know how to play the notes. It's putting the whole pieces together, deciding, um, uh, you know, how to approach this patient this way because of this thing or that thing. Obviously, different people are coming from different places, and you gotta you gotta figure out what kind of composer I guess you're uh, you're working with. It's so helpful to see multiple people do the same procedure because you can't walk into every operation with the exact same technical plan. Sometimes their anatomy or something throws you for a loop, and so you need to see multiple ways of doing the procedure. What I didn't expect was the collegiality of the faculty. It was great when I got here and, you know, everyone was really, really welcoming, and then they, they kept that same energy, you know, throughout the entire time. I sort of expected to be well-educated when I finished, so that part wasn't a surprise. Being the best surgeon is a really broad um, encompasses a lot of, of um, attributes, you know, and I think it means way more than just this technical prowess, that's a piece of it, but judgment and interpersonal skill, these things are really important, and I think, you know, a b leadership ability, these are things that are hard to pin down sometimes, but you kind of know them when you see them too, you know, and I think that's, that's part of who we're trying to find, you know, the right person who, who conveys those um, characteristics. The thing about transplant is you don't know exactly what any particular uh, day is going to be like. Say for a kidney transplant on, on a Tuesday, uh, that's our living donor transplant day. So we start usually at 7.30 with our living donor case. We also have um, our liver transplant clinic. So 9 to noon, that's when we do our pre-transplant liver evaluations. Thursdays, we end up with a lot of meetings, transplant grand rounds first thing in the morning, followed by a multidisciplinary conference, followed by our VA clinic, um, followed by our selection conferences in the afternoon. So if we're not operating, typically it's a very meeting heavy day on Thursdays. And then Wednesdays, there's a little more of a kidney transplant focused day. And then Friday, we have clinic in the morning. Last year, we did 200 kidneys, probably 10 kidney pancreases and about 90 livers. So we have the volume. We have an amazing team of educators and very skilled surgeons. And we're all people people. You know, we're interested in people's lives and enhancing not only their professional life, but their personal life. Coaching, mentoring, sponsoring, and just being overall a great place to be. And coming out of here 
I don't think they'll regret it at all. Not to mention that Portland's a great place to live. You can ski, you can windsurf, you can surf, you can bike, you can hike, you can fish. I mean, you can run. Um, I mean, the sky's the limit. This is a keen place to be. And it's a lot of fun. And that's what it's about too, is having fun while you're working hard and learning to be the best you can be.